Hi there. Hey, I am Danny. And I'm Cameron. What are we playing, Danny? We're playing Resident Evil 5. Look at these guys uh, really going to town on a bag of taters. You messed them up. What's in here, though? That's what I want to know. Show me your tater bag. So there's a discussion that we've had mm -hmm. about this fella. Yeah. Does he look more like Joseph Stalin or Saddam Hussein? More bug-eyed than either of those historical figures. He, he like, keeps looking back and forth at both of us. <laughs> like, he's not sure which one of us is the bigger threat here. <laughs> he was just having a jolly middle of the day. Yeah, he's just watching some young men beat a t sack of taters. But, yeah, uh, yesterday was the first time I tried to play a Resident Evil game. We were going to do a full Let's Play of this game. And then we decided not to do and that. And we decided not to do that. <laughs> Oh, our, our viewer listeners will find out soon why. <laughs> you know who my favorite character is? Sketchy Steve. He's wearing flip-flops. Like, straight up. Like, no no protection of the heel. Everything else very well protected. Face. Yeah. Check. Um, you know, vestal area. Like, the area covered by a vest. Double check. Mm -hmm. Look, but. he's probably got three layers on his butt there. Sketchy Steve, well known for his perpetual infinite scowl. All outsiders will receive the blade of punishment. We will bless them with the sacred death. We will release them from the bonds of wickedness. It's nice, folks. You think this is? You think there's ghost wizards involved here? You think this is yet another ghost wizardry scenario? Chris Redfield has knee pads that are like from a wicked cool skateboarder in a TV show from 1993. Mm-hmm. Like they're strong. And they are, uh, they're wicked tactical. So we've quickly turned the corner. Um, I'm not down there. Well, you better hurry. Oh, yeah, you're with me now. Turn around. Run the other way. Do, 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 do. There's a, a zombie horde coming. I'm going to look at him. I'm going to close this door. Oh, heck. All right, we've got to talk to Kirk. You know, I'll, I'll be honest. I didn't believe this before. But, uh... Kirk, probably one of the best characters in the game. Really? What Based on what we know about Kirk, what that we viewers will see soon. What do you think this is all about here? What, like all this sacrifice stuff? That, that yeah, giant cleaver? Mm-hmm, this like big murder cleaver? It's not your average kitchen utensil. Okay, you ready? Because this is where it gets real, right? How do you know? Because we did it. It took a long time. <laughs> The, the the weariness with which you were expressing all of this is uh, really life affirming. I'm sure it's you. I'm sure it's like thrilling for the the Lissa viewer. Oh no, sketchy Steve! I could have recognized all those layers anywhere. This guy's real upset. You're really doubling down when you're about to be executed and you say you can all go to hell. There's a guy there with, like, nails jabbed in him with a giant axe. I mean, <laughs> at some point, you just you stay true to your values, you know? <laughs> what what are Sketchy Steve's values? What values are he dying? is he dying for right now? <laughs> the value to tell people to go to hell. Yeah. Oh, eagle eye time. Look at that shit. <laughs> 50 yards away through a window. Everybody, get, get after them. I wonder if I can shoot these dudes through this. Oh, I can. How are they I'm all not... behind me? Uh, they, like, come over the wall over mm -hmm. there. Well, they did it. Um, being killed. No. Chris Redfield, no. All right, so there's Kirk again. Come on, Kirk. Help us out. Kia. They're behind me again, somehow! They're everywhere! So this bad bastard is over here. He's coming to get me. Where are you at? I'm I'm already, like, very far away. I'm, like, picking up grenades. Uh-oh. Well. I'm dying. You're dying, bro. Help me. Help me. Help me. This is, uh, the executioner's coming after me. Oh, he got me. Damn. It looks like he lopped a piece of my head off. Oh, dang. We really messed this up. How? I'll let him get over. That guy is still up there hollering at everybody. 
Did you know that? No. I can see him. Oh. I'm gonna get hurt. Oh, so, there's the guy. All right, this rude dude with attitude is here. I burned him. I threw an incendiary grenade you at did. his feet. War crimes. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> God, does the Geneva Convention <laughs> reset when there's, like, zombie executioner? No. I'm gonna kill this guy in a megaphone. I feel like he's he, the reason for the season, you know? He's he's hanging out with me. It's me and him right here. Did we get him? I shot him. I'm gonna die. I can't... Okay. Oh, shit. I killed the the telephone man. Is that is that executioner still hanging out somewhere? Oh, I'm sure. The greatest uh, the greatest trick the executioner ever played on the world is <laughs> the belief that he could not be killed. An actual, honest to god, submachine gun. Did you just get killed? Yeah. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> yes! He's our dude. Look at him. This is why he's so good. Take cover. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, let me look. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah. yeah. We did it. Uh -huh. We did it. Hee hee. All you needed is a rocket launcher. And that's all of Resident Evil 5. Yeah, that's the game. That's the whole game. What a good time. Yeah.